Hi, Professor Borengasser. This is April Fabro. Um, I'm doing the brain video so, um, on the sheep brain. So here we go. Um, it says to identify the frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital lobe um, from this view. The, per the frontal lobe is this part um, because this is the spinal cord. That's the back of the brain. Um, Parietal lobe is this upper part right here, and temporal is right here, where the temple would be, and occipital is the back right here, just like a human brain, and, okay. Number two, demonstrate and describe what a gyrus and sulcus is. A gyrus is um, the raised part of these um, little folds of the brain and the sulcus is the indented part like when it goes up and down the upper part is the gyrus and the sunken in part is the sulcus um, show the longitudinal fissure that separates the right and left cerebral hemispheres okay so the longitudinal fissure is the one that runs along the middle divides it in half and if you're looking at the brain, it'd be this would be the right hemisphere and this would be the left hemisphere. Um, let's see. Show the lateral sulcus and how it separates the temporal lobe from parietal lobe. Okay, so the lateral sulcus, it's kind of hard to see here. But it is right here. It's um, it's kind of a larger sulcus. Um, it's more prominent than the other sulcuses to um, define the parietal and temporal lobe. Mm, there's many of them on the brain, just like the longitudinal fissure. It's very easy to identify because it's deeper. Um, okay, number five. Demonstrate the cerebellum. The cerebellum is, is this part right here. This is hard. It's kind of hard to identify because my brain's kind of dried up. But yeah, the cerebellum is right here. And let's see. The pons number five it's along the spinal cord as well it's like the upper part of the spinal cord the pons right here and medulla oblongata is a little bit lower lower down the spinal cord right here medulla oblongata and okay, on the ventral surface, so that would be this surface, it says to point out the olfactory bulbs. Um, it's a little hard to see on this thing. I think mine's a little torn up. But the olfactory bulbs would be here. And the tract is um, what surrounds it, what it's laid on, like a track. Um, the optic nerves. Um, this one was a little tricky for me to find. The optic nerves. Um. Sorry. Ah, I just had it in my book. Okay. So the optic nerves are over here. They're very tiny, tiny nerves. There's two on both sides. Well, there's many, actually, but okay. The next would be the optic chiasm. And that is below this little cross thing right here be somewhere around there, the optic chiasm. And the hypophysis, 
This one was a little bit difficult for me to find. It'd be easier in this um, when we cut the brain in half, but the pituitary gland. Um, let's see. Pituitary gland. Ah, so many pages. Pituitary gland is right here, right by the hypothalamus. We'll get a better view of that when we cut the brain in half. Um, let's see. So the ocular motor nerves. motor nerves, but these nerves right here. There's a lot of little nerves over here. So ocular motor nerve. And the trochlear nerves are a little bit outside over here. It's kind of buried in there and it's hard to see. Um, let's see, the trigeminal nerves are these nerves right here. Trigeminal. They're all in their little same area. And the abducens are on this side. Abducens. I think this is one right here. Right there. Okay. So, um, I'll be making another video when I cut the brain in half for the second part of the section. Okay.